Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome to this new video on Injective and the INJ token, which I haven't covered for quite a while now. Uh, but I wanted to, do an, uh, wanted to do an update. I know quite a lot of you actually do hold and, and trade Injective. Apart from that, it has just seen a, a significant support touch right here at 6.85 at the trend line, which is important. So we'll talk about that. And in general, in general, just what to expect. All right. Injective right now. It's one of the weirdest cryptos to to analyze and trade because it's it's been very very uncorrelated to the market. Like what you see is that at some points of time it's it's just overly bearish, and then at the other point of time Bitcoin gets a very small bear, a bullish breakout, and Injective just rallies to the moon. All right, so um, yeah, and, and we also formed some sort of a double double top right here at around ten dollars, a little bit below that. Uh, so that's an indication of a little bit more bearish momentum. So just in general, it's a difficult crypto to analyze, uh, but I'll do my best. All right. I'll, I'll at least give you my my take and my view on that. All right. So that's that is what we'll do. Uh, before we dive into that, though, I do want to briefly mention that I have my own premium trading group uh, in which I share my own trades. Nothing much yet on Injective because it's well, it's, it's hard to trade, uh, but I do give my own trades as signals and you gain access to my trading guide and an exclusive chat room full of traders. So if you are interested in that, if you want to become a, a profitable trader, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments, and there you will find out how to join, or you can just go over to selinux.com. But for now, onto Injective. So Injective, in terms of market structure, it's very, very hard to say, uh, say what's going on. If you zoom out, you can definitely see that there's bearish momentum going on. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, uh, Injective has basically consolidated from the 24th of July all the way to the 14th of August, then got quite a big sell off, then got a lot of bullish momentum all of a sudden when the market did not. So just in general, it's it's a bit of a weird situation. I would say we're bearish. All right. I would say Injective in, in general, also on the daily time frame is bearish. I think long term, it's a great project. All right. I do want to have said that. Uh, but on the short term, I think it's bearish. I mean, if you take a look at this, for example, uh, especially this touch was just very, very much a confirmation. Uh, the 200 EMA was respected. Trend line was respected. So in general, that means that that uh, the, the, the trend is, is, is respected. And in this case, the trend is down. Now, Injective found quite a lot of support right here. And especially with Bitcoin that could turn a bit bullish or at least could recover a little bit in the next few days. I do think Injective will see some more bullish momentum up to the levels around 7.25 and 7.55. However, I do think that that whole area, like I said, well, technically between 7.28 and like 7.55, that's the main resistance, all right? And I think it's most likely that Injective will get up there, at least if Bitcoin doesn't crash, uh, will get up there. But I also think it's most likely that Injective will then reject, consolidate, and at some point of time, I think this trend line will break. Injective will drop down to 6.6, .6, which is more confirmation of a, a downtrend. And that eventually it will drop down all the way to $6. All right. That's what I think the most likely scenario is right now. A little bit more for the long term. I would say the, the only thing that could really prevent something like this, because nothing is 100% sure in trading, especially not for Injective. And Injective can become very, very bullish very suddenly. The one thing that could cause something like that is a major bullish breakout from Bitcoin. All right. If Bitcoin breaks above 26,300, which is quite likely to happen and Injective is able to break above 7.5. So right here, then I might have been wrong. And then we could actually see some more bullish momentum and just in general, a bit more of a consolidation instead of a downtrend. But right now, that's not even close. All right. So if that gets closer, I'll make an update on that. But for now, it's still to me, uh, looks very, very likely that this is the most likely scenario. So that's my take on Injective. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.